This is Fuji Apple Learning with Heather McBain presenting Weather Prediction, a third grade lesson. At the end of this lesson, there will be a 10 question quiz. You will need to get at least eight of the 10 questions correct to pass the quiz. I want you to start thinking about how weather is measured and what tools are used to measure the weather. The weather tools that we are going to be talking about are the thermometer, barometer, rain gauge, wind vane, hydrometer, weather balloon, weather satellites, and weather maps. That's a lot of tools. I wonder how many of them you already know. This tool is called a thermometer, and it measures the temperature of the air. Usually, thermometers contain a liquid such as mercury or alcohol. When the air around the tube gets warmer, the liquid expands and moves towards the top of the tube. And when the air gets colder, the liquid shrinks and goes down to the bottom of the tube. This is a barometer, and it measures air pressure. The very first barometer was built by an Italian scientist named Torricelli. The air pressure can tell you what type of weather you will be having. The barometer rising means that you are going to have dry, sunny weather, and a falling barometer means that you are going to have rainy, stormy weather. This is a rain gauge, and it is a fun tool that measures the amount of rain that has fallen over a certain amount of time. You can make one of these at home by taping a ruler to the outside of a clear glass and measuring how many inches of rain collect in the glass in an hour or longer. This is a weather vane, and it can tell you which direction the wind is blowing. The first known weather vane was created by Greek astronomer Andronicus. That weather vane sat on top of the Tower of Winds in Athens and it was made from bronze. This is a hygrometer, and it measures how much water vapor is in the air, which is the humidity level. The first hygrometer was built by Leonardo da Vinci in the 1400s. These are weather balloons, and they measure weather conditions that are high in the atmosphere. The first weather balloons were used in France in 1892. These are weather satellites. They take pictures and keep track of large air movements and storm systems. Meteorologists look at the information that the satellites send back on computers and try to figure out what the air and storm systems are doing. These are weather maps, and I know that you have likely seen them on TV or the internet before. They show us information like predicted temperatures, storms, humidity, wind direction and speed, and air pressure. Although a weather map is a tool, it is created by using all of the other tools that we just talked about. Meteorologists are one of the many special types of scientists who record patterns of weather and use that information to make predictions about what type of weather may come next. The weather can be tricky, and they are not always right, but they are right most of the time. What will your weather be like tomorrow? Do you remember what the weather has been like over the last couple of days or the last week? Write down what you can remember and make a guess about what the weather will be like tomorrow and see if you have what it takes to be a weather scientist. Before you go take your quiz, let's do a quick review of the tools scientists use to record weather and make predictions. Thermometers measure heat. Barometers measure air. Rain gauges measure how much rain fell. Wind vanes tell us which direction the wind is blowing. Hygrometers measure how humid it is or how much water is in the air. Weather balloons collect information about the weather in the atmosphere. Weather satellites take pictures and track air and storm movements. 
Weather maps are made by using the data collected by these tools that is interpreted by a meteorologist. Meteorologists are a type of weather scientist. Thank you for watching and good luck on your quiz.